Hi, I'm David Cook. I am the clarinet professor at Millikan University, and today we're going to be talking about etude number 26 from the Rose Etudes. This is a wonderful etude both for demonstrating technical abilities and articulation, as well as one's ability to be expressive within a technical context. The, one of the first points I have for you in preparing this etude is to practice your chromatic scales. They are found throughout the etude, measures 11, 14, 25, 26, 31, just to name a few. And it's, as opposed to just practicing them as they appear in this etude, I would take some time to practice your full range chromatic scale. That's a great way to make, develop your tone, your intonation, and your flexibility throughout registers. So, you can also, instead of just practicing the chromatic scale, maybe like this. In one even rhythm throughout, another very helpful way to practice that, or any technical passage, is to change the rhythms. So that was a long, short pattern. You could also practice it the other way, short, long. And that will make measures like measure 14 a lot easier once you've done your chromatic scale throughout the entire range of the instrument. All of that was just a chromatic scale in measure 14. So you can practice that and that'll transfer throughout this etude. Another thought is to practice this with your metronome on the upbeat. We often practice with our metronome on the downbeat. So I'm going to set this to maybe 100 for now. Let's actually slow it down a bit. I think that'll make it easier to demonstrate. So if we were trying to practice measure 13, for instance, this is the measure right after the repeat sign, we would often practice like this. instances of going from the C, third space, to the E flat in the fourth space. And E flat you can only play using your right pinky. So the C's that come adjacent to it, you have to be sure to use that with your left pinky, to play that C with your left pinky. So measure two, for instance, jump to measure three. If you try and use your right pinky, you have to slide a lot and it ends up sounding very messy. And you won't be able to play it very quickly, so make sure you get used to using that left C in those spots where you're going directly from C to E flat. Another big point with this etude is to be careful about your articulation. You may have noticed that it, within each group of 16th notes, it's often the second 16th note of the beat that's articulated, not the first one. Uh, measure 9 is a great example of this. We'd expect the slur 
were to carry one, two, three, four, the four sixteenth notes of the B, all under one slur, but in this case, the articulation, the beginning of the slur is actually on the second sixteenth note. It's something similar in measure 29. <laughs> this is to simply play the articulated notes. Uh, good luck on your Allstate auditions, and uh, happy practicing.